one person in a village thought one day he was an intellectual person one day he thought one day that uh, let me go to the surrounding villages all the way and uh, just for my curiosity let me count the population in this particular area so he took a notebook and a pen he counted the number of people in his own village then he packed some food along with himself he went for a small trip he went to all the villages in the eight directions around his village and he visited all those villages and he noted down the number of people in all those villages and he was satisfied that in the total area there he has counted the number of people who are right now there and then he started coming back to his village on the way there was a forest when he was crossing the forest below the tree he saw one monk sitting and meditating so in that book he added plus 1 now the monk opened his eyes and asked him what are you doing then this person said i have been counting the number of people in my own village and the adjacent villages now i have a total count of people who are around me you are sitting in the forest so i simply put plus 1 then the monk laughed at him and told him my dear friend don't include me in that population list then this person asked why then the monk said i stay in this forest i don't go anywhere else i live here only whether i am here or i am not here it is not going to make a difference in your life so you don't have to count me as such even though i am living i am as good as dead for others so i have no other relations also so you don't have to count me okay the person said okay and the person laughed at the monk and he went back to his village when he went back to the village after about few years maybe one or two years he thought i have gone to all these villages and have counted the number of people now let me prepare a map so that let us all establish good relationship among each other let us let all of us can meet each other now i know the route map for all those other villages they may not be knowing all that it is better that i create a route map and i distribute everywhere to all the villages so he made a road map route map and he made many copies of it he again went back to all those villages and distributed among all those people and he told them let us all have a harmonious lifestyle let us all keep meeting each other and you can use this map for going to different places and while he was coming back on the way he went to the same forest the monk was there he told him do you want a map i have prepared a map painstakingly and i have distributed to all other people do you want to have a map then the monk said my dear friend last time only i had told you you don't to include me in your population list also i don't want map also because i don't go anywhere else i just sit here in the forest i keep meditating that's all when i don't go anywhere else there is no use of a map for me and this person laughed at the monk and he go, went back to village after about a few years this person he thought uh, let me see now how these people are living because i have a map now i have given the map to them also let me verify and he went around the trip for all those villages and he saw that many people are suffering due to many health related ailments and he was feeling pity that people are having these health ailments people are sick at many places so he was coming back when he was coming back he met the monk once again and uh, monk asked him why are you sad this time you have been cheerful in the last two times why are you sad this time then the person said i went to all the villages and i met all my other older friends i am seeing that uh, many of them are uh, uh, suffering due to many health related ailments also and i am feeling pity for them don't you feel pity he asked the monk now the monk said my dear friend i am here only i don't meet anybody else i don't compare myself with anybody else so i don't know what what lifestyle they are living so it is not my botheration to worry about them i worry only about myself now this person said you say that you are a monk and you don't have compassion for the people what type of monk you are then the monk said please leave me for myself i am in the forest you only keep coming here and disturbing me you can go back to your village then the person went back to village when he went back to village he was still feeling sadness about the all the people sufferings 
and he studied a lot of health related books medicine related books on his own and he developed some methodologies about how we can remain healthy by using uh, nature's medicinal uh, items and he wrote a book about a healthy lifestyle and healthy medicines and he printed this book and he went to all those villages and gave this book to everybody there they were all happy that he is helping them all the way on the way when he was coming back he met the monk and he told him i have done this great work i have written a book about healthy lifestyle and uh, healthy medicines which are available in nature do you want to have a copy now the monk said i don't go anywhere i don't eat anything else whatever is available in this forest that is what i am eating that is how i am surviving and i don't have any health issues at all when i don't have any health issues why do i want your book you can keep your book the man laughed at the monk and he went back to village in this way many years over after many years one day the same person again thought let me go for a population count now i went almost 30 40 years before for a general population count let me go around all those villages and let me take a population count let me see how people are living now so he went all the way and he was very happy that in all those villages people were living very healthy and he was so happy and when he counted when he was coming back he made a total and the total number was almost double whatever was the population earlier now the population is double he became so sad now the village is full of people more and more people everywhere more and more people everywhere population has increased now if population has increased this will become a bigger problem in future because the same double will become quadruple quadruple will become eight times just think about india when we had a um, uh, freedom independence the population of india was 40 crores now it is nearing 140 crores that is our capacity or ability to increase the population in this way but how much wise we are how much respect we have for our nation or uh, have we really understood the wealth of this nation have we really understood the meaning of the word bharata that is questionable now so this person was unhappy that population has increased so much when he was coming back he met the same monk this person was again upset now the monk asked him why are you upset man last time you were so happy that you were given all health to people and they are all living healthy now why you are upset now the person said there is a increased population population is more than double now everywhere there are people now there are a lot of fights and quarrels now because of the increased competition there are fights and quarrels and they are all uh, stupidly living foolishly living whatever type of suggestions i give now they don't respect me at all they don't care for my advices at all they are all grown up now i am upset now i don't know how to solve this problem now the monk said you are the root cause of the problem this person said how am i the root cause of the problem why are you blaming me how did i cause this problem then the monk said they were there just like that in their own villages whether they were suffering or sad or sick or healthy in whatever way they were living you went around you only gave them maps when you only gave them maps using the map they started moving everywhere when they started moving everywhere they only built up relationships everywhere when they built up relations everywhere we don't know where are they moved and what all relations they had in different places now later on you only went everywhere you only gave them tips for healthy lifestyle you don't only gave them tips for using natural medicines that is how these people became fit and healthy also they multiplied also when you only gave them healthy tips when they became fit when they became multiplied when they migrated to different places when they increased their number now why are you so sad now the person said i did all for their welfare only now the monk said why did you take a responsibility of their welfare on yourself have you taken a contract on yourself that their welfare you will manage it is up to them to understand themselves and to live a worthy life now they were living a bad life only earlier you made them good lifestyle as such 
you made them healthy as such they did not stop their bad mentality they only became physically healthy their bad mentality remained the same so that is when their intellectual ability is not increased now because you did not do anything for that you did only think for their physical existence you did not do anything for their mental empowerment now when their population is increased why are you worried now the man said what i should do then the monk said you see the tree opposite yes go and sit there the tree which is opposite to me 